Ah, finally a bit of clearing over here in uh, northeastern Ohio on Thursday, March 22nd, 2018. The sun went down about 15 minutes ago and we have like a... Oh, hello there. Who is below the moon? Well, I'm not sure who this is, but we'll check when we go in. But yeah, this is about a 32% moon. Over in the, uh, real high up. Probably about 56 degrees or so above the horizon. And I can't see anything else, but oh, I can't even see that, uh, whoops, sorry. I can't even see that star that's uh, below the moon right now, but I, the camera sure did pick it up though, which is cool. But yeah, the last couple days have been crappy here. We got snow the night of the uh, spring equinox. It's funny, that uh, area there at the top of the mesa, the one I'm always talking about, light beams shooting out of uh, the crater up in front of it. I'm not seeing it tonight. It's got to be a first for me. Hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, we'll let it come down a little bit more and go out. I want to see that... Uh, that star that's below it. And there it is. Well, who are you, bugger? <laughs> yeah, I can't see a speck of light below it. But I... And it's just uh, way too light outside yet for any stars. I can't get Venus because it's too low in the western sky too low on the horizon. Houses and trees in the way. I'm a bit surprised to uh, see that star showing up during dusk, twilight, whichever one you want to call this. Especially on a video for the uh, P900. It has such a hard time picking up a uh, distant stars, so, at night. But there's something there. <laughs> yeah, we'll check when we go in. Anyway, it's kind of cool out here. Probably about, uh, it might have hit freezing. I don't know, it might be 33 degrees, 34, I don't know. 32. So there we go on this uh, Thursday evening. All right, it's uh, good to get back out here and say hello. <laughs> and I hope wherever you are, you've got uh, good weather and no storms and you're all doing well. Alrighty, I switched it over to uh, aperture mode. I had it on moon mode for the other one. And of course, it's a little bit darker out now that prettier blue. So we have that uh, star down below the moon, which we'll check when we go in. There's also one up to the right of it, about its uh, one o'clock position. I don't think it's picking it up though. Everything's moving at a pretty good clip here. And we'll go in and see if this comes in any differently. And that's funny, I still don't see the uh, normal two beams that shoot out of that uh, one crater there in front of the mesa. Hmm. Quite 
interesting. But it's coming in pretty good tonight. I'm sure it helps because it's so high up uh, above the horizon. As most uh, folks have noticed that our horizons are buggered. Sunrise, sunset. Maybe not everywhere, but uh, I sure do here. Anyway, that should do it. So here we are on our Thursday evening. March 22nd, 2018. In northeastern Ohio. Ah, it's too dark now to show. Oh, there we go. A little bit of blue. And I see Sirius. Which the video is not going to pick up, I'm sure. Alrighty, well. On that note, I'll take a few more pictures and say goodnight. Y'all take care. Bye for now. I want a quick look over here in the south of Sirius. <laughs> Not near as flashy. Kind of looks like it has a halo around it. <laughs> but so let's go out so we can see where the where it is with the willow tree. And the damn video is not gonna pick it up. And the moon. Alright. Well <laughs> good try anyway. Spread too far apart. Alright, that should do it, and once again, I'll wave goodbye. We'll see ya.